Nice up. Hello, everybody. Hey, Nose. Hey, Nui. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming, guys. Welcome to my whew, super last minute setup uh, <laughs> um, figure review thingy. Luckily, I prepared all the um, I prepared all the images and shit beforehand, and I did a little bit of like um, a little bit of testing. So here's the here's the gist of it, right? Um, oh, let me know also if my volume levels are like kind of whack because I've been um, I've been using this I've been uh, using this setup to record, so I had to like I had to like make a bunch of um, I had to make a bunch of audio adjustments. Also, I forgot to make my live tweet. Hold on. Red circle emoji. <laughs> there we go. We live. Hey, bomber kid. Thanks for coming by. All right. So, all right. So essentially the gist, the gist of this is that let me, let me change this a little bit. Fuck. Um, the gist of it is, is that some of the figures, um, that I have will probably Hey, Pang, thanks for coming. Some of the figures will probably um, get me Susaned or whatever, Bezosed. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the, what I have, what I had, like, I tried uploading all the images I had um, to Tier List Maker and some of them just straight up got like 100% filtered. I like, I tried, I tried uploading just like a couple of what I, um, what I assumed would be problem ones. And they just like didn't upload because I'm assuming they got um they got auto filtered. <laughs> so um I'm just hoping I'm just hoping that uh they don't notice. <laughs> okay, so um basically what I had to do what I had to do instead was I took like, I'm in my drawing program, as you can see. Um, I have like this really big res, <laughs> big res tier list. I don't know if you can read this. Um, so it goes, it go, the tiers that I'm gonna be ranking them as is jar, good, a little good, not bad, regret, cheap and worth. These are like special categories. So cheap and worth and cheap and not worth. So cheap, I would consider anything like about Fifty dollars or less. I have a I have a good number of those. I just now looked at the text. <laughs> That's up, Dunce. Thanks for coming. Paying how many were how many were woes? Um, I think I'm pretty sure. Uh, like eighty percent of them. <laughs> It's visible. Stream takes a quarter of my screen. I can read it while zoomed out. Okay, cool. I can only see it on my um, I can only see it on my OBS preview, which is on like this tiny ass little thing. So <laughs> this tier list. What, what about this tier list? <laughs> ah, why would you tell me that? I hope that wasn't ah. like I hope that wasn't like disgustingly loud, but. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so let's let's get started. I have 84. I have 84 images that I have prepared. All right, so first one up will probably get me. Let's just get this out of the way. It'll probably get me Susan immediately. Uh, what do you mean opening canvas failed? Is it too big? Oh my god, it's too fucking big. All right, hold on a second. Um. Alrighty, let's uh, let's lower the resolution of this, I suppose. Okay, now that we've lowered the res a little bit, let's see if it'll let me it'll let me bring it in. 
Okay, I guess it won't. All right, this is, oh my God, this is so annoying. This is what I'm gonna have to do. This is gonna be so jank. I'm gonna print screen the preview and then just paste it in, hell yeah. Hell yeah, look at that. This is the, this is the jankest shit ever because my fucking, I don't have enough RAM supposedly. All right, so this one, let's zoom in a little bit. This one's like the, <laughs> gotta grab a napkin. So anyway, this is uh, this is Ilya from Prisma Ilya. Uh, this is like the bikini wedding figure. I really like this one. Um, starting off like pretty high up there, like this is going straight into the jar. <laughs> like, whoa! <laughs> Thanks for the whoa redeem. Anyway, yeah, Ilya goes straight in the jar. Um, for those guys who know me, and for uh, and for those guys who don't. Ilya is my one of my favorite characters, my favorite waifus of all time. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this one, I, I wish I like noted down. <laughs> I wish I noted down, right? Like the um, the price of all of these, so I can only like estimate. I'm I'm pretty sure this one was about 120k yen, so like about like 110 dollars. I do like Chloe. I have a Chloe figure as well somewhere in here. <laughs> Ilya goes straight in the jar. That one sentence is how you describe Pien. <laughs> Ilya goes straight in the jar. All right, so next up. Oh, man. What do I... I wonder if I can... Hmm. I wonder if I can uh, maximize this. Can I full screen this? Nah, it's still all right. It's just this is just gonna be jank the whole way through. Uh, twelve k, twelve k. Bad math. It's not that much. Imagine if it was that expensive. I'd I like it would have to be like a um, like a one fourth <laughs> size figure. Anyway, this one is. Another, whoa, um, this is Hinatsuru Ai from Ryo no Shi Oshigoto. It's like a Mahjong, or not, it's like a Shogi. It's a Shogi anime, um, but no one, it's, it's not about Shogi. It's about lollies. Uh, <laughs> um, so this one's actually like really big. It's, um, it's supposed to be one fourth size, but remember, but like since her character is supposed to be like really tiny, like scale wise, it's actually not that big. Like, like you see one fourth scale, you're like, "Holy oh, shit, this is gonna be huge!" But it's actually not that big. Um, but this one was about twenty five k. Yeah, twenty five k yen. And uh, I think this. Okay, so this this the B style. These are like all these B style um, uh, figures. Like they, they're like bunny, bunny rabbits. They're bunny rabbits with like, um, whatever, like their color. Um, they're like matching color outfit and they have like a, they have like a fishnet version and a non fishnet version. The fishnet version is the one that comes out first. And then if the figure sells well enough, it, they make like a non, a non fishnet, um, a non fishnet version. So it's like, it's kind of a gamble because like, I don't really, I don't keep up with like Japanese forums and shit. So I don't know like which ones are going to be actually popular, right? So <laughs> for <laughs> one fourth or one, I, I don't remember. Let me, let, let me look this up. I have Ami Ami open up right now. Um, yeah. So anyway, it's like, do I gamble? Do I wait? Um, do I wait for the... Oh yeah, it's one fourth. It's one fourth. Um, so do I gamble and wait for the leg, like the stockingless version, the fishnetless version, to come out, or do I just buy like the um, the fishnet version? Like I, I know I like waste a lot of money, <laughs> but I'm not good. I'm not about to buy a duplicate, uh, a duplicate figure willingly. All right, <laughs> or willingly or knowingly. One thing, like, so I don't really, I actually like fishnets, but the problem, the problem is I have with these is, 
Look at this. Ah, damn it. Uh, this is one of my top figures, so I'm going to be showing it. I'm going to be showing it on hand cam at the end. Um, hey, Waffles, what's up? Thanks for coming. Uh, I'll show you exactly why I don't like it. Like, this seam here, these fucking seams, like, I hate this. It looks so stupid. Like, real fishnets don't look like this. And, like, if it were that, if it were the case that they were and they didn't look like that, I would be okay with the fishnets. But I don't like the fishnet B style for this reason. Anyway... That being said, this goes straight in the jar. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna be like, it'll take me forever to show like all of my figures, um, hand cam. So I'm just gonna be showing like, I'm just gonna be showing the jar figures. <laughs> yes, the, the top tiers jar. <laughs> did you, did you not see my uh, thumbnail tweet? <laughs> um. I don't, it's not ordered in any particular way. It's not ordered in any particular way, so. It's, uh. If it's, if the first, if the first two are in the jar, it's not because it was, um. Well, it's ordered by whatever the, um, what do you call it? The, um, like the product number on, uh, AmiAmi that I downloaded the image from. I didn't look I didn't look too closely at the thumbnail. All right. The thumbnail was literally here. Let me let me pull the thumbnail up actually. Okay. So <laughs> it's literally a jar. <laughs> Thanks for redeeming a wool. Whoa! Best followers, primes, and viewers on mountviewers.com. Remove the space. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Lamau. Thanks, bot. <laughs> Thanks for adding to my average viewer count, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is this is the thumbnail. Yeah, so uh, like you'd, you'd have to be like, you'd have to have been like not paying, like not really paying attention <laughs> to the thumbnail at all to have not noticed this. <laughs> <laughs> I legit like I took this picture I took this picture like right after I got home I was like okay I don't have a thumbnail yet what should I do I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture I'm gonna take I'm gonna get this jar out and take a picture with my one Shiro figure in the jar oh okay that's that's fair all right, so next up is actually not a Uo, surprisingly. Wait, come on. All right, hold on. My picture viewer froze. Oh, you didn't see the thumb? <laughs> All right, so next up is Albedo from uh, Overlord in like casual outfit. So this is one of these, this is one of the ones that were like super expensive. It's like, it was like, um, I think it was one sixth. Um, this one was about, this one was about um, like almost $300. I think it was like 28 um 28 29k yen um so like the detail is really amazing on this um but it takes up so much horizontal space <laughs> like the wings the wings like come out and it's just like holy shit this is so annoying to like store figures around and there's a couple of figures on the list that are like this um like and i like um I like this figure a lot, but uh, just for the sheer annoyance of storing it, like it's it's only going in the good tier. If I have time, I will I will show this. I will show some of the good tier ones. I believe it is one sixth. Let me uh let me pull up the Ami Ami page for it. Um, while I'm doing that. I have a story for, I have a story today about, uh, work. So, um, yesterday, yesterday I was watching, um, I was watching Aoi 
uh, she decided she decided to like Zatsu for like an extra hour and a half. Yeah, this is one sixth for like an extra hour and a half after uh, after her collab partner ended. So I was like, oh damn, I like could have made food, but I didn't. Right. So I, I went straight to bed. And I was like, okay, uh, I have some leftover rice. So you guys ever do this thing where you like have like, I don't know, like, I don't know anyone who does this, but like, if you're like cafeteria has like, like a, you know, like a bar, you know, like a, um, buffet, a bar buffet thing, you know, like a salad bar buffet thingy. Um, what I do sometimes is I bring rice. I bring rice and I get like the, I get like whatever meats or whatever at the buffet. And then I just pay for the meats and stuff. And like, the reason I do this is because like, first of all, first of all, the rice at these fucking buffet things, they like charge by the, they charge by like the ounce or whatever, right? Like by weight. So what they do is they fucking like waterlog like all the rice. So it's like mushy, disgusting rice and you have to pay and you have to fucking pay for it and pay more for it because it's like heavier from all the water. So like, fuck that. I'm just going to bring my own rice. <laughs> And like I do this for all the like there's a, there yeah so I bring my own rice and I get like the driest like the driest possible like meat protein so I like pay the least possible price veggies fuck that that's mostly water weight I'm not paying for that <laughs> yeah yeah I bring rice to those places there's a there's like a buffet bar thing next to my dorm when I was in college too um uh, like not not like part of the food hall, but just like a corner store with a buffet. And ha they had the most banging meatballs, so I would just go there and buy like a box of meatballs, and <laughs> I would eat <laughs> instead of doing anything else. <laughs> okay, but like. Even 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 as a working adult, like I'm not gonna pay like double for water log rice. Like, why would you do that? I don't know. I don't know, man. Please don't tell me you continue this IRL. <laughs> yeah, I still do. I just did it. I just did it today. <laughs> I walked straight into the cafeteria with my with my warmed up just rice. <laughs> just rice container. <laughs> Walk straight in there with my warmed up with just rice and I <laughs> Hell yeah. Anyway, uh, next figure up is Aoi. Not the not the Aoi, but Aoi Inuyama from Yuru Camp. She is she is my favorite character. Um She's my favorite character from Yuru Camp. Um and for this for this reason alone. I don't know if you can tell at this resolution, but that reason alone. <laughs> the <laughs> college is not IRL. Yeah, basically. I mean, let's be real. You weren't really a person until you started working. Yes, skin fangs. Skin fangs. Face disfiguration. Yeah. Yes, this exact seven pixels. Pancakes is too babu to understand. Yep. That's also true. All of you guys make good points. Um, so I I have like this um I have this like love hate relationship with Nendoroids. They're like super cheap, right? Like they're always between like forty or four to six k yen. So like they're they're like pretty cheap, um, accessible figures. But my issue, my issue with them is the tiny little parts, like the hands, and like the stupid ass little phone here. And like, it, 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 like mine, uh, I think I put like a bunch of like food shit on hers. Cause like I set up all the Nendoroids from Yuru camp that I have, um, that I have like in a camp, around a campfire. <clears throat> Did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, there's like a ton of little shit and like, it's so annoying. Like, I don't know. I don't like my hands aren't even that big, right? My, I just like, I feel like I'm just getting arthritis, like working with like tiny little pieces. So I'm just like, fuck, like, oh, like it's so annoying. Like trying to like stuff that little, like switch out like these stupid little hands. Like that's, that's why I will, I, I'll never put, I'll never actually um, jar any Nendoroid. Um, this one in particular though is, uh, is really good. I really like this one. 
It com comes with a lot of um, expressions, and it comes with a lot of uh, accessories. All the Euro Camp ones do. So that goes into the good tier. <clears throat> not not an import or not a person yet apparently. I mean, let's in the grand scheme of things, none of us are people, right? Like. <laughs> <laughs> we're like one of like um how many people are there now in the world like seven point something billion we're all like we all might as well not be people statistically all righty we're we're weebs we can't be real people true Next up is Aqua from Hollow Live. So, um, this figure I'm pretty sure it was about like 9k, 9k yen, like about like 80 something, 90 dollars. So, I I have an issue with this figure. Like, I feel like I feel like the face is off model. Like at the time, at the time when uh, it was up for pre-order, I I bought it because I like watched. I actually watched Aqua a lot, and I like really liked um, I really liked watching her like drool apex. But <laughs> but so I like bought it, but like I don't really watch her anymore. And like by the time it actually got delivered to me after like months of like waiting, you know, like um, it was like I didn't really I don't really watch Aqua anymore, but. And I, I like kind of like her cat outfit a lot better. And like I just I just feel like this face is kind of off. Like I don't know. What do you guys? Uh, hey Loop, thanks for coming. What do you guys think? Like the, let me let me look up a picture of Aqua. Uh, don't close that. Don't close that. I need those tabs. Aqua. Uh. Like, I, I don't know, like, it, I mean, I, maybe I'm, like, nitpicking, but, like, I just, I just feel like the eyes are a little too close to part, or a little too close together on the figure. Face like smug, yeah, that too. Right, like, here, let me, let me, let me do this, so we, <laughs> so, this is the power, this is the power of, um, wait, hold on a second, of using this program. So, let's line up one of the eyes here, right, and then... All right, maybe maybe I'm just seeing things. Maybe the face is too long. I maybe maybe it's the face that's too long. I don't know. I, there's just something there's just something off of it about it. Actually, I don't I don't I don't regret being jank and using this uh paint program now to to do this. I now I can like complain about stuff that I don't like. <laughs> I I feel like the Azure Lane Aqua is like um hold on. Is even better looking. Hold on. Azure Lane Minato Aqua. So, God, that's a low res image. All right, hold on a second. Yeah, like I think I think it sorry like um I think the what's uh what's the what's the guy's name who. What's the guy's name who um who's Aqua's uh, papa? Like I think I feel like I feel like he got like way better at drawing Aqua after doing like a quadrillion um, a quadrillion pictures of her looting her a quadrillion times. Gao Sensei, yeah, that's it. Yeah, maybe it's the nose. Either way, this is one of those. Um, this is one of those that I. Whoops, I'm in the wrong screen. So yeah, this is this is my this is one of my regret buys. Like 
Like, like, um, I don't, I, it's like, there's some stuff that's like off model and it like looks okay, but like there's some stuff that's off model and it just like looks like really bad. Like, I don't know. To me, this is one of those really bad ones. Boosting her a bit more every drawing. Yeah, basically. So yeah, if you guys are like thinking about getting, if you guys are Aqua fans and you're thinking about getting the, uh, this figure, there's a bunch of other ones. In fact, there's like this wedding aqua one that's that's on pre pre order right now. That's fucking awesome. All right, let me. I'm actually gonna bring that up right now. I didn't get it because. Why didn't I get it? No, no, no. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna buy stuff on stream. But it's fucking awesome. Like it's such a cool. Uh, hold on. There's like that three smug face, and it's like way better proportioned, I think, than, than that. But I don't, I don't have this one, so this doesn't go on my tier list. Next up. Next up is another Aqua. But it's Aqua from Konosuba. So this one, this one's like, I think I really like this. Um, I really like this one's um, like, like, you know, the boob spillover. Like, I love that shit. Um, yeah, the useless one. Um, I love this like boob spillover shit and I like, I love like the expression and I also really like the base. The base is like, if you guys, it's kind of hard to tell with this picture, but it like, it's like, it's like glass or it's like the acrylic thing here. It's like kind of like water and then she's like standing on sand. It looks pretty cool. It's like a very unique looking base. It's not just like a, you know, typical plastic that you usually see in, um, figures. But, um, the, the issue with, the issue with, I have with this and the only thing that makes this only, um, that makes, that like detriments it really badly. Do I have it in front of me? Um, so the, like the way that this, like it looks fine from the front, but if you look at it at any angle, that's like not this angle or like this angle, like from the top, like the cheeks like bulge out really, really unnaturally. And it looks kind of weird. Like, I think that's just kind of like the limitation of like bringing 3D and or anime 2D into 3D. But like, I don't know, it could, I, I just, it just looks so weird to me. Like I it basically the, the fact that I have to like put this at eye level just makes it so that it's like only a little good. Um, I believe this one was about, uh, I believe it was like 8K, 9K JPY. So it wasn't like too expensive either human weddy <laughs> even called aqua lamo so um wait hold on is there like why am i not able to okay there we go all right so the next one is actually like a super cheap figure like super super cheap you can kind of tell um, you can kind of tell if I like zoom in on the face, like it's, it's like a very generic painted, like, um, the very generic painted one. Um, these were the, um, I believe they're either called like band prestos or, um, pop-up parades. They're like, they're like a super like budget line of figures. They're like only about like, um, like 3k JPY, like cheaper than Endoroids even. But you like get pretty good, you get like pretty good um, quality for, for that price. Yeah, the pose is pretty good. Like I, I actually really like the detail of it for, for only like, you know, a 3k J JPY figure. Um, the only thing that I don't like about like the, um, about like these cheap figures is that like half the time the face is like a little bit off. But for, for this Aqua one in particular, it's like, it's actually like pretty on model. Like it's, it's like pretty on like. Not like the best, but it's like pretty close to being on model for that price. So, yeah, very, very cheap. Um, bear in mind, if you're going to be ordering like these kind of figures, like um, you're still going to be paying the same amount of shipping as you would be for like 
more expensive figures. So I would maybe like get two of them because otherwise you're going to be paying like you pay 3k JPY for like this figure and then and then you have to pay like like uh, one point you have to pay another 2k in like total shipping especially if you're like in America so it's like it's like would you rather would like you could pay like the same amount of shipping if you just got two almost the same amount of shipping if you just got like two of these so this one's like like for all these I would recommend maybe getting like two at a time or something there's a ton a ton of um there's a ton a ton of like um, Papa Parade and Bam Prestos that are available all the time, so you'll definitely find like especially popular characters. They're all over the place with those brands. The face is dumb looking, but it's Aqua's normal state. True, true. <laughs> maybe maybe that's why it works. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. How do I this next up? All right, so this isn't really a figure, but um. It's in my like, it's in my photo that I took, and it's like, on my shopping list. This is a uh, bocce plushie. It's like a, it's like um, she's like laying flat on this like, nutty, brownie cake. Like I don't know what the lore, I don't know what the lore um, I don't know what the lore is on that, but, <laughs> I don't know what the lore is on that, but it's super cute. Um, it's it looks like one of those like Japanese like mochidoru like the um, the one that I like um, Like begged on Twitter for someone in Japan to buy me when Subaru when Subaru's one came out and was like only available physically in stores uh, But and I ended up like buying it from like Mercari and getting like fucking scalped Like four times its original price and then after I did that they fucking decided to release it online as well so that's how. That's the story of how I paid like, 12k JPY for a 30, for a 3k, for a 3k like fucking doll, <laughs> of Subaru. This one. This one's cheap. This one was made. Um, this one was. You can get this on the Azure Lane official store. Actually, I don't know if it's like. I don't know if it's still there, but it was for a while, and it was like 25 dollars, I think. Very cheap, um, very worth. But um, it's bocce, so she goes in the jar. <laughs> like she normally like if I were if it were in bocce I'd put her in the uh, the cheap and worth but I guess it's also really not a figure so okay so any guys any of you guys play puzzles and dragons will recognize this this is a bastet from puzzles and dragons this figure was also very cheap um, it was very cheap I think it was like about like maybe like um 4k 4k yen seen great a chart of it as I feel like I feel like um so like I feel like most of the shit that I like like most of the anime most of like the um games like most of like the um like VTubers, right? That I end up wa like watching or like, you know, like generally partaking in the entertainment of like the set character. Like it starts, it starts with the porn. <laughs> like, I don't know if this is for anyone else, but for me, it's like, like, hey, I saw a lot of doujinshi with that character. Maybe, maybe it's worth playing. Maybe it's worth checking out. <laughs> that's how, that's how I started with the Zerlane. <laughs> Even though that game's fucking boring, like I fucking the game's so fucking boring, but like the art is so nice and like the H art's even nicer. <laughs> and like that's how I that's how I played like that's how I played like a shit ton of like uh, Toho. Okay, so Toho, oh wow, well, that's why you get all the skibs. So Toho kind of like let me rant about Toho a little bit. Like I know like the original style is like this iconic thing or whatever, but like. That's not my first, that's not, that wasn't my first exposure to Toho. My first exposure to Toho was, like, a bunch of really nice, like, really nice saucy art, you know what I mean? And it's like, and it's like, and I go to play the game, and it's just like, what is this? <laughs> like, I thought it was, like, a bad, like, I thought it was, like, a bad fan thing at first. I was like, where's the actual game, guys? Like, stop trolling me here. <laughs> 
<laughs> no boats for me because planes over boats. There is a planes game, isn't there? Um, but like, there's not enough, like planes aren't like big enough of a thing where they like, they, ha you have like historical, like, um, you know, parallels to them so that I, like, I don't really know how that, how that game would work. I never played, but there's so much really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> I feel like Toho's more of a, of a, like, um, an H art franchise and a game at this point. Anyway, um, so this is a cheap figure, but it's very, very annoying. Um, it's like, you can see, right? Like these little, like, um, well, first of all, like the face looks stupid, like really stupid, like really bad and stupid, like worse than any of the band Presto or, um, or pop-up parade ones. Like, let me pull up the actual, um, let me pull up the actual picture of her, right? Like the, the picture that this figure is based off of. Okay, now look at this, and then look at that. Like, <laughs> dur, dur, dur. <laughs> show some Miku song about Yukuri. I honestly don't know that many um, Toho character names. I know Clown Piece because there's this really nice Dojinshi of her. Um, I know Patchouli because there's really nice Dojinshi of her. Um, I know Kaokuma or. Uh, Koakuma? Koakuma. Um, because there's also a really nice Dojinshi of her. And I have a figure of her, actually. Um, I know Reimu, because, you know, and I know, um, I guess I forgot her name, but she's the girl, she's the maid girl with the knives. <laughs> hey, Love Key, thanks for coming. So anyway, yeah, this was, this was a travesty of, um, of like the base material of the source material. So, um, on top of that, on top of that, like, it's so annoying to set up like these stupid little, like cylindrical things. Um, they don't, they like, there's holes like in one, like behind in the hair, um, one here in the cape, but they don't fit like, um, they don't fit in there at all. Like, um, like, so what I had to do is I actually kind of had to like scrape out a little bit of the cape here and a little bit of the hair to like actually get the things that fit in. And then when you fit them in, they're not actually aligned properly. So like, like, <laughs> like this one for me is like, is more like, um, is more like this. And like, I have to kind of like tilt the whole figure a little bit, like, um, a little bit, like a few degrees to actually get it to fit. And then it doesn't like rest nicely on this knee thing. So this, this overall was a huge waste, a huge waste of money, despite it being cheap, cheap and not worth. Yeah. It, it tilted me so hard when I got this. Cause like the, yeah, the, the art, the box art of it, like made it look a little bit better than this. I made sure also to choose like the derpiest picture possible. <laughs> it doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It doesn't fit. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> In the vein of the same, <laughs> in the in the vein of the same, um, same like uh, I don't I don't know what company this is that made these, but I also bought this one. This is another Bastet. Um, this is another Bastet figure, like a different. It's based on like Dark Bastet or some shit. I forget how Pad works, honestly. Um, but this one is a little bit better. Like this one's a little bit better than this. And like, it's about the same price about like, um, between 33 to 4 K yen. Um, so like this one, I think looks a lot better and it doesn't have like, so it has like a little peg here and you just rest it. You just rest it on this thing and that's it. It's, it's pretty simple. It's straightforward. There's no like holes that it doesn't fit into or that doesn't fit, you know? Um, so this one a lot better, uh, and is definitely worth over this one. Let me see if I can find that uh, picture of Bastet. 
Um, this Bastet. If I can't find it, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna move on, because there's like, a, apparently, a quadrillion Bastet forms. Alright, I can't find it. <laughs> you need to be banned for doing that, from doing that, or banned for doing that. <laughs> Yeah, I think a transparent one would have been better. But maybe maybe I'm just biased because, like, I got these together and this one was just infinitely better than... Like, this one was just infinitely better than this one. Cause, and I don't feel like... Yeah, there's, there's nothing particularly wrong about this except for maybe, like, the green doesn't really fit well. And, like, the face isn't exactly, like, um, like on model. But it's not as derp. I don't know. Like, I feel like this... Is so much more derp when you have like the eyebrows like covered by mostly like the bangs but here like at least you can like see some like brow <laughs> some brow action oh my god we're like barely through this and we're already like <laughs> we're already like 45 minutes in maybe i'll maybe i'll make this into a part two or something <laughs> brow adds contrast yeah that's true Cat girls take on many forms, Peen. Yeah, that's true. Okay, um, I wonder if this will get me Bezos. Bezos. So, I mean, you can't really see anything. It's just, it's just C2. Or CC, if you say it like it's spelt. So, I, I actually, like, the art for this makes it look so much nicer than it actually is. Um, the problem, the problem with this is that, like, you can actually kind of tell already from the way that this, that these pictures are taken, um, is that it looks like it, it's like, um, it's like a one six size figure, right? So if you think about that, it's like a one six size, except it goes horizontally. Um, it takes up so much goddamn space and like, there's no like, there's only like one angle where it looks good. Like, like basically like either if you're like, if it's like lower to from your, lower on the ground from your perspective, or if you're like looking at it from the side like this, but otherwise like it, it otherwise it just looks stupid. Like, look at this. Like if you, if you had it, like if you needed to like tilt it in like your display case, so that like the hair's coming out towards you, like then you don't fucking see anything. Like you don't even see, like you don't even see the, the primary focus point of this figure. Like you have to orient it in that way. And it's just kind of like, that makes it a huge detriment. It's also really expensive. Like, I think it was like, um, I think it was like 16 K yeah. 16 K yen. So like, this also goes into my regret buys. Is it impossible to store and like it's only good it's only good looking from certain angles and it's like too expensive for that purpose. Figurine photos, but Instagram filters. Yeah, 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 basically. Um Yeah, so that that was one of the ones that wouldn't upload to tier maker. <laughs> So let's just let's just quickly move on before I get uh <laughs> before I get Susan for it. Oh wait, did I just close the There we go. These are 100% shipped. I never I've never bought figures in person before because um more more often than not um they like they Oh, first of all, like w around like New York, um, like there's not like a lot of like specialty, um, anime figure stores, like West coast, there's a lot more of that shit. And like, you can probably get like decent prices there, but like here, here on the East coast, it's like, like if you find anything like that, it's going to be upcharged, like really bad. Yeah. Apparently I didn't know tier maker had content filtering, but apparently they did fucking assholes. Um, here's another Ban Presto figure. Anime Boston's coming. You want me to be a lookout for any? No, um, I'm, I, I, like, I don't, like, I don't really know what, like, you'd find at, like, a con. Um, at least, like, here in America, right? Like, I know, like, sometimes in Japan, like, comicettes and stuff, or, like, not comicettes, but, you know, like, um, 
figure conventions and whatnot. Like they have um they have like garage kits and like sometimes the creator like brings some to sell. Like those are like those ones look really nice. Like there's some garage kit ones that I like, really, really would have liked. But um But you know, they I I don't go to no one no no one I know goes to figure conventions in Japan. Um, but thank you for the offer. Anyway, the, um, what do you call this? This is, see, this is a band Presto figure. Um, this is also, this is also, um, fuck, what did I just do? This is also C2. Um, so, the, the, the material is actually pretty nice. And it's, like, pretty small, too. It's, like, a, I think it's a one-eighth. Or, actually, it's not even scaled. It's not even scaled. Um. So it's not a scaled figure at all, but like it, it's like pretty nice. Like um, I really like China dresses, like this this part here especially, like all that juicy thigh, and like the semblance of like being like kind of safer work. <laughs> but the the failing of this one, as you guys can probably see, is like the face. It, it looks really derpy. I think um, like I think it would have served them better if they just made the head just a little bit bigger. Cause like the eye size I think is okay, but like the the head is just like I think it squeezes the eyes too close together. Um, that being said, it is like it is like you know it is like um it's only like between twenty to like or like two to three k yen. Um, so I I would say ultimately like ultimately it's kind of worth like from far away from far away it looks it looks like. It looks pretty it looks pretty decent like for the price if it were like any more than the actual price it would definitely go into my regret tier but this is definitely a cheap worth figure seeing people wearing china dress irl during conventions very nice i don't know man 3d <laughs> yeah the the ban pressos are really nice oh yo i just hit 69 followers nice when did I, I don't, how come I didn't get a notification for that? Cause like before I checked, I was 68, but oh well, whoever lucky 69 was, thank you for being, thank you for following. All right. So next up, we'll get a lot of people's, um, Jimmy's rustled. This is Chitose. The best girl from Nisekoi. Chitoge. Chitoge. The best girl from Nisekoi. Thanks for redeeming and whoa. Whoa! <laughs> 69 was the bot, Lamau. Imagine. <laughs> yes, I, I totally agree. Chitoge is the best girl in Nisekoi. Like, um, I don't know. Maybe... For me, for me, I think I just really like blonde anime girls. I'm like in real life, I'm not I'm not that big of a I don't like I don't really like I don't really like blonde girls like that that particularly much in uh real life. Not that I don't like them, but it's just like I don't know. For some reason, like in anime, they just look so nice. Like the bright blue eyes and like the uh or like the purple eyes in this case. Um, you know, and the the golden hair, it's like hmm. breast girl <laughs> my uh my second favorite is um who's um who's the little sister haru i think haru haru is my second favorite i really like haru but little sister of like one of the main um main protagonists never wins never wins those harem ones anyway so the one i have for this one is actually a bootleg chinese one <laughs> <laughs> this one this one apparently got like a bunch of bootleg chinese um like knockoffs of it but this bootleg chinese version of it which not which i'm not condoning that you buy is very very nice i i bought it for maybe like um how much was it it was like it was about like 140 yuan like um renminbi like chinese yuan chinese dollars and that translates to about like 
18 20 dollars usd it was like like bottom barrel cheap but like the quality is actually pretty nice and i like i think it's i might have been stolen or something because like i can, literally can't tell the difference between it and the actual the actual figure <laughs> so um i really like this one this one uh this one goes in the jar And like the, oh, um, before I forget it, like, if you can tell, it's actually suspended on a single metal wire, like a pretty sturdy single metal wire. And like, it leaves a lot of space on the base that you can like overlap, um, things onto if you need to. So that, that make, there's a lot of like space that it gives. It's like pretty compact. Cause she's like jumping. I really like that about this figure. The rod connects, the rod connects to the back of the, of this like tank top. There's like a hole, there's like a square shaped hole, <laughs> the square hole, <laughs> um, that like the rod, like, um, like you have to like squeeze it in there a little bit, but it, for good reason. Cause it's like the only anchor point, um, holding this thing like to the uh, base and the base is surprisingly not very, like, is not very big like to and balances like the figure pretty well all righty this one chloe kuroe So this one, this one's uh, a little unique in that it doesn't actually, or it does come with a plastic stand, but it also comes with like a, a fur, like a, like a rug. It's kind of like a rug and it's supposed to be like a bed or some shit like, but like it's, it's, it's more like a circular like fabric thing with like, you know, like fuzzy, fuzzy piece of fabric that, um, that you can like rest it on. And it, I really like that because it's like, makes it really flexible to like store to like, you know, pack into shelves and shit. Uh, like when there's a lot of figures that you want to display at once. And then also like on top of that, like the, the under boob, mm, like, whoa. <laughs> and then, um, I really liked all like the, the animal forms or like, you know, whatever, whatever the, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember that much from Prisma. Maybe, maybe we'll do a Prisma Ilya watch along one day. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, all the Prisma woes go straight into the jar. Oh, I'm running out of jar space. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of both, and I like it. Right, let me let me reorient this. All right, so this is the state of the board right now. All right, next up is a double, is a pair. Um, I, I don't believe this is Bam Presto or, um, Papa Parade. These, these are like Sega, um, like, what are they? They're like, I remember buying them off of a, it's not, I didn't buy them off of Ami Ami. I didn't buy them off of, um, of like, uh, Otaku mode. I bought them somewhere where they were like selling like, you know, these, like the claw game, uh, the claw game figures. So I have both of these. Um, vanilla and Chocola from Nekopara. Um, like, I think normally when you were t normally to get them, like you had to like, you know, like buy tries at the claw machine and like get them. Um, but like, I just bought them straight up. So I paid about like 40, 4.3 K like between four to five K, um, yen for each of these. And there it's, it's pretty high quality, like for um, for what it is, it's like definitely very high quality. Like the face is definitely like super on model. Like I think this 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 picture is a little bit um, like the ones I have. Like the face are a little bit more off model. Um, but these this one is like you know the the advertisement the advertisement picture, right? So, but like other than that, like it's pretty similar quality. Um, like pretty pretty good detail on the hair too for like that kind of um, that kind of like cheap figure. I've only seen Fate State Night. Didn't really get it. Been, watch, been meaning to watch the other series. Yeah, so here's my opinion on the Fate series. And 
people, and this is going to be controversial. The only Fate series worth watching is Prisma Ilya and the OVAs and the movies for Prisma Ilya. That's the, the, it's the only one. All the other ones are like, yeah, like, you know, like the animation's nice, but like, you don't, you don't get any, you don't get any like Ilya in there. <laughs> you don't get any Ilya. You don't get any, <laughs> you got any Chloe. I mean, and, and if you do, you get a little bit of Pat. It's only like a little bit in passing, right? Um, as much as I, as much as I like Astolfo, um, like, I don't like him enough to justify, like, liking the other shows, but... <laughs> Too lazy to watch any of them. I feel like, I feel like that's, like, a big hurdle for... Because, like, you ask people, like, which Fate series to watch, everyone has, like, a different answer. It's all, like, all over the place. Yeah, it's, like, kind of... <laughs> Learn a bit more about the franchise at a later point. Ah... Uh... Carnival Phantasm. Is that another? See, I don't even know if that's like a fate. You could, you could literally say like, you could literally say like fucking like, um, future, future like lamp. And I'll, I would be like, ah, oh, that's probably a fate series. I don't know. <laughs> it's all these like weird, like, <laughs> it's a big hurdle. Like the Monogatari. Yeah, 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 for sure. Kind of rewatch. want to want to uh, kind of want to rewatch. Prisma, I learned about some of the out of nowhere characters that are from Fate Hollow. Huh. See, I, I don't even know if Fate Hollow is a. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, these these figures are pretty cheap and they're pretty good. Um, definitely worth they go into. Um, well, are they like are they like um that cheap? Not really, right? So They're like Nendoroi prices, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I guess I'll keep the cutoff at cheap at like less than less than four less than four K. Um so like they're like I think they're pretty good. Um just like the face on the ones that I actually have are a little bit a little bit off. Um and also I put them I would have put them in good if like these like the pigtails didn't go like all all the way out and like kinda get annoying when it comes to store because like you can even tell from the stock picture that it's like the you like you can't like you can't put them next to each other in like at certain angles like they you can already tell that the, they're already like squeezing the two hair together so yeah it's like a little bit of a storage issue especially since they come in pair in a pair like that's uh that's a little good for me future lamp all right it is eight o'clock god damn where to? Where did I put the? Where did I put the? Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. All right. On the same vein, we got Lolly Chocola, Uo Chocola. <clears throat> so, um, this one also comes in a pair with vanilla, but I'm like. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a much bigger fan of, like, the Genki, the Genki girl archetype than, like, the Kudere, like, um, emotionless, emotionless girl, you know? So, like, that's why, for me, like, Chocola is, like, much more preferred of a character. That being said, though, this, this figure, I, I, like, I kind of don't like it. Um, I bought it, like, um, like, I, I bought, I bought it, and, like, I bought it because like I it was like oh my god it's it's whoa it's it's chocolate I'm getting it I'm getting it like but um but like when I when it actually shipped to me and when I look back at like these pictures like the face kind of looks weird <laughs> and like the the cheeks also you can't really tell in this picture but the cheeks also do like that puffy out thing um that looks really weird from other angles so yeah I, I don't really like this the stand makes it a little bit easier to like like the square-ish stand makes it easier to um, store. One thing I hate about a lot of these figures is all the circular stands. Like, you know, like, it's like, if you guys, you guys ever remember back in like school when you were like doing like packing math, like, it's like, what's like the most efficient way to like pack shit? And it's just like circles are like the least or wait. Is it the least? Or, uh, you're like you get end up getting like a ton of space in there, right? So like, yeah, the the, the, sh the circles make me so mad. So like, like this being like even just a 
like a quarter slice of a circle is like a godsend compared to all these fucking circles especially like the big ass circles like these ones 3 a.m not even halfway through work that sucks snows <laughs> neko power figurines don't react to the p key the what key issue in prism standees the two dude the the gen 3 standees they're so fucking big like why are they like literally twice the size of the gen 1 and gen or let me see gen yeah the gen 1 and gen 2 ones like they, they're so it's so annoying to keep them in like one place because of that circle is the best for area perimeter ratio if i remember right yeah, if the Gen 4 standees are also that big, I'll be really mad. <laughs> no, I haven't. I actually haven't ever played. I'll be real, I've never played Nekopara. I just I just enjoy I just enjoy the H the H art. <laughs> anyway, um yeah, so I kind of regret this a little bit. This was like a this was like um 14. It was like 14 15 um K yen and like i don't think i don't think like even if it was like an uo but like i don't know it just the face shape kind of throws me off the the way that the it's angled like it only looks good it's like that same problem it only looks good from one angle i probably would have put it in like maybe like the little good tier if it was like half the price but i'm not like a hundred hundred thirty dollars for that like i'm a little it's a little bit regret Gen 1 standees 1 to 1. Imagine. Isn't that why people play an Echo Power anyway? Yeah, that's true. The H scenes in Echo. Yeah, yeah. That's. <laughs> I mean, I've seen the whole, like, CG, uh, you know, the CG collection. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I can't, I can't be bothered playing, like, the VNs. Like, like, um, the last, the last VN I actually sat through and properly played was uh katawa shoujo that was that was like the meme thing back in the day you know um and i played it before the um before the the patch that made rin wait rin who's the who's the girl without legs the girl without legs they like they they patched it at some point to make her like older and it was just like why like <laughs> like like they if they essentially didn't really change much except for like the um except for like the proportions and it's just like oh she's older like come on dude like <laughs> don't be so afraid embrace the whoa also embrace the futas crim coming up next i am i i really like crim crim's Krim's really funny. Um, Isekai Isek Ishiz Ishizoku reviewers, very, very good, um, very good manga actually. Um, and I didn't expect the I didn't expect the anime to just go s like like ninety nine percent of the way there to like full on hentai. You know what I mean? <laughs> For those of you guys that watched it, you know what I mean. But <laughs> but like uh, like it was super high quality, and the guys clearly the, the animators clearly had fun with it. But I really like I really like Krim. Um, like what what's the pronoun for crim i don't know crim's really cute really cute um i'm not gonna um, like i don't really i don't really like putting nendoroids up in in the jar because like i feel like if this was like an actual crim figure um i would put it i would put it in the jar but um like like I already complain about Nendoroids. Like the tiny pieces that they make me mad. So I like I like Krim though, so and I like I liked how this figure turned out too, so this is going the good tier. <clears throat> a Che. Get a Nia cat squirming uncomfortably at this figure review, please. <laughs> what what is um what um I guess like show uh I guess give me a picture later a screenshot on the discord of like what exact image you want this Nia squirm to look like the futon another thing for 
Oh, it's actually on, um... <clears throat> it's actually on, uh, what's that, what's that site called? It's like, um... H, and then... There's anime, and then there's, a uh, A TV. Uh, <laughs> if you guys know that site, it's on there. All 12 episodes, uncensored. <laughs> Yeah, it's a redeem for uh, for um, for a cat. So like, if you want me to make a a new VTuber cat or just like make any an, any cat of anything any kind, that's what you that's what you use a redeem for. Oh well, I mean, if you want to if you want to use a redeem that way, uh, I can bring up um. I always have, oh fuck, I always have Nia at the ready. Oops. There we go. There we go. And then... What? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't want to confuse people with my brand, even though I know this is a fake cat. I don't want to be as I don't want to like people think I make animals. All I do is make cats. <laughs> it was just a special case. Girl DM cat. Okay. Cap cat. All right. All right. Hold on. Let me. Let me fucking. Let me do this so I don't fucking forget. Damn it. All right. Hold on a second. I'll just post it in my own channel that no one else can see. Alrighty. <clears throat> Fox cat and soundboard is great. <laughs> okay, so this was another this one coming up is another one that has a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of storage issues. This is Eldridge from Azur Lane. Like, the the underside boob and like the thick thighs and the blondie, like, mmm, I love I love Eldridge, but it's so like it's it's actually pretty big. It's like um it's a one six size, um so like, well it's not it's not officially a one six size, but like it's that's about like the size of it. So like the fact she's kind of like horizontal, like she takes up so much space. The fucking like like hexagon shit here makes it so annoying to store like other figures and like these little like um like what are these um tuning rods i think they're called um turning i don't know these rods like they like stick out like a significant you can't really tell from this picture but they stick out a significant portion away from the figure itself and it's just like it's like if you like want to put her up against like the back or like the side of your shelf just like bumps into it and it's just like oh my this is so fucking annoying Whoa! What's up, Flawed? <laughs> still miss so many streams, still under 1k peeing coins. <laughs> Dowsing rods, that's the thing. Thanks, Nay. King Joe Kuromano, yeah. Big whoa. But yeah, so, um... <clears throat> for that, for the reason of storage alone, a lot of these, like, like, um... I guess like if you if you look at them standalone, they're like all pretty good. Like I would put her in the jar if I only had her, right? But it, to consider it, considering that I have to like store them, store all the figures around each other, like she goes she goes in the good tier. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna keep moving forward because there is a important stream at nine that I have to end before. Okay, so this is another one that wouldn't get um <laughs> that wouldn't get accepted on tier list maker. This is um elf villager number two. It's not from any series as far as I know. Um it's just like a series of figures specifically figures of like different artists and their interpretation of elven villagers. <coughs> Um, 
one one unique thing about this okay so this was a this is this is a pretty expensive figure this is like um about 200 and f or 2.4 uh 2 point or 24 24k 24k yen um very expensive but um comes with comes with a tapestry or at least at least the the one the version i bought came with a tapestry um and all of this like this like um all of these uh like this thing covering her it's it's removable <laughs> so so like you can really whoa at it <laughs> and i think that makes it like i mean aside even if it weren't like look at look at this like blondie elf whoa like insta jar insta jar but like she she's many many points bring her into the jar um also the stand is pretty nice it's very it's very small considering like the um considering like, it's like compact and it's like made of like this artificial turf or something <laughs> to like simulate grass i guess <laughs> so that's a that's an insta jar for me <clears throat> next up all right so this is another figure with all these, all these fucking Azur Lane figures, I swear to God. They all have huge, huge problems with storage. Like, this is Fubuki from... IJN Fubuki from Azur Lane. I love... I love Fubuki. Um, she's, like, not really a good... She's not, like, that good of a of, um, destroyer, but, like... I love using... I love using her. Um, now that I think about it, she kind of looks like... She kind of looks like Blue Nia. <laughs> right? Like... <laughs> like with the, this thing and then the bell and the fox. <laughs> like, let me... <laughs> um. Anyway. The thing the thing that makes it... The thing that makes this really annoying is the... um. <clears throat> the thing that makes this really annoying is the... Like this long ass rod thing. Like it, you can't really see that well in this picture, but this like, um, like this pokes out a lot, like a lot, a lot. And then it goes all the way up, it goes fucking all the way up here. It's so annoying. Like this is so fucking annoying. Like I could just take this off. Um, but like, um, like the way you attach it is with like, like these like plastic pegs. So if I take it off, there's like obvious holes here, here, and here. And it's just like, that makes it look kind of eh. So like, like I really want to put this in the jar, but for this for this stupid thing and this gigantic base, it's like uh, it's a good it's a good for me. As much as she reminds me of uh, Nia, except blue and not heterochromia. <laughs> blue Nia, oh my god! <laughs> long ass rod or long ass rod. <laughs> I don't even know what that what like the rod is supposed to be. You can fill with sand and white polyfilla. Yeah, but I mean like I also like like so like I guess space is only an issue because I have so many figures and I have like a fucking a fucking like city apartment, you know? Um like one day, like when I one day maybe. Um if I ever get like a actual house. You know, like, I'm going to literally dedicate, like, three rooms to figures. And I probably wouldn't care that much about... I wouldn't care that much about, like, um, about, like, the size anymore. Yeah, I really like, mm, Squish and the side boob. But, like, in that case, I would have put her in the jar as well. <clears throat> I stand by... I stand by this. Also, I kind of don't want to bring her. <laughs> I don't want to bring her out. It's so annoying. Hey, Nanako. Thanks for coming. Ohanasu. Good luck trying to sell that house. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just put like drapes over it. And I'll just be like, oh, this is like, this is like furniture. We're getting ready to move away. <laughs> okay. So, um, next up is another Nendoroid. Uh, I really like... I really like um, Hibiki from uh, Onegai Muscle. Wait, is that the name of the anime or is that the song? Whatever. Oh, how many dumbbells can you lift? 
whatever, non-keto dumbbell something, something, something. Anyway, um, so I, I actually really like the, uh, like that bratty, like that bratty gal archetype. <clears throat> but I also super like, um, I super like tans. I super like blondes. Um, this, this would be Instajar, but it's an Enderoid. So I'm going to put her in the, I'm going to put her in the good. And we're running out of space a little bit. So we're just going to take the canvas size and expand it maybe another 500 pixels <laughs> and and uh there we go <laughs> no way i like brats <laughs> sweaty tomboy idiot <laughs> yeah. like some someone on my head <clears throat> Did you know the mangaka for that is the daughter of the mangaka for Bob? That's so funny. That's actually so funny. <laughs> I didn't know that, but that's that's hilarious. And it's like what it's like basically one to one. Okay, so here's another here's another um Sega figure that I actually don't like very much. Uh, again, it's because of like the face thing. Uh what the hell? It's uh, Hikari Takanashi from uh, Demi-chan. Oh, uh, like interviews with Monster Girls or whatever. Um, it was a relatively cheap figure. Like, I think it was like, um, it was like 30 or like you know, three point something. Or yeah, three point something. But like the face looks so stupid. Like even with the eyebrows. Let me, let me get the actual picture that it's referencing. Like this is a travesty, absolute travesty. She's such a cute blondie vampire. Whoa, and then they turned her into this weird thing here. <laughs> yeah, the face is really bad, and it, it was cheap. It was cheap. So, but I, I don't I don't actually like it very much. So she's going in the cheap, not worth, because the face is just so so terrible. <clears throat> Waiting her to waiting her to nibble on your ears. <laughs> she was cute in the figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what time is it? It's eight twenty-two. Jesus, alrighty. Um, I'm gonna skip a couple. I'm gonna skip a couple of like the. Actually, do I? Mm, maybe I should just save. Maybe I should just save this for like part two or something. Cause I'm like, where am I? Let me look at my. Let me look at my total list here. Yeah, maybe I will do a part two to this. I was afraid I'd go through it too quickly, but clearly, oh my God, we're still in like the first like quarter of all of them. <laughs> <clears throat> Head is custom made and put on generic mass produced body. I think that's, I think, I mean, that's like what makes them like cheap, you know, and turned her into one of those full body suits that include the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just keep going down the list and then at, um, at around like, like maybe 8.30, 8.35, I'll switch over to hand cam and I'll show the current ones on my, the, the current ones on my uh, jar list. All right, so this one's a, another, um, I believe this one's a Ban Presto. Um, this one's Hinata from uh, Sora, Yori, Sora Yori Toy Basho, uh, Place Further Than the Universe. Uh, really, really excellent anime. Um, I don't even know why, like, I cried so much during it. Like, um, it's a very, like, it wasn't even parts where people, like, cry a lot. Like, in the first, in, like, the first fucking episode where they, like, say, I'm gonna go, like, let's just, let's just go on a trip. And they just, like, hop into a train. Like, no care, like, what they, like, no care, no regard of what they're doing tomorrow, like, school or whatever. Didn't care at all to just go on an adventure. And it's just, like, that's sort of, like, freedom like, I felt like I've never had, like, the confidence or, you know, like, the balls to do. And, like, that, I feel like, I feel like I was just, like, bawling. I was like, damn, I wish I was, I wish I had them. I wish I had the balls to just do that. But, yeah, like, um, really like this uh, anime. 
this this girl was my favorite girl like spunky spunky shorty <clears throat> um supposedly she wasn't like attractive but like when you same face like every person in the fucking anime it's like kind of hard to tell <laughs> um this is a very cheap figure so it's like it's like um i think it's like somewhere in like the 3k range definitely worth very small too um and one thing really nice that you don't um I don't know why it's showing like the acrylic here. It actually comes with a stand that's like a gear. Um, it's like all the all these types of figures come with like these like gear stands that you can kind of like spin around and like match on and like fit into other gear, uh, other like ones of like this particular brand. It's really nice. I really like that about it. Definitely worth the 3K-ish yen. <coughs> I don't have balls. No balls, no balls. Yeah, I would definitely recommend watching it, Dunce. It's a very, very good anime. It makes you feel very old, though. Because <laughs> I watched it well into my adulthood. Yeah, I think it came out, like, well into my adult. <laughs> Alright, next up is another Hinata from Wataten. One of the best anime of all time. <laughs> they... <laughs> I just really like the, um, I really like the, I really like this derpy idiot little girl. Whoa. A few years old, two to three. Is it only two to three? I feel like it's like, hold on. I'm, I'm going to look this up. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like at least four, but. Sora yoi mo toi basho. Aired on winter 2018. Okay, so yeah, it's been it's been like it's been three and something. Yeah, Wata Ten. I love Wata Ten. Um She she's not my favorite. Um Like I, I do really like Hinata, but my favorite is um Take a guess. Take a guess. It's uh, it's very obvious based on the current uh, jar list. I haven't put an Enderoid out out of uh <laughs> outside of good yet. <clears throat> anyway. Yes, it's the <laughs> it's Noah. It's the it's the princess bratty girl Noah. She's uh she's my favorite. Alright, next up cream jar <laughs> cream jar no there what do you mean there's no cream happening in any of these jars it's just it's just a uh, rating a jar out of 10 i feel like i feel like um if, if we're talking like like i definitely think hey maxter thanks for coming i definitely think that um uh what is it i definitely think that uh genki girl the genki um beats like brats but um like when it comes to when it comes to like or like in real life anyway right like for sure i would take a genki girl over a brat but like um <clears throat> but like <laughs> but like with 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 anime in particular um and also just like you know like if if a character design is like like i i like i like noah's character design a lot better than hinata's even though i do like hinata but um like even if they're like kind of bratty and like they're like have like a really sweet side like i really i really really like that like the the sundere sweet side the bratty sweet side speaking of sundere this is haman from azur lane um this figure was very expensive about like 22k 22k um yen but unlike the other two um azur lane figures that are on this list it's like relatively compact like it's like still pretty big um but like you see like like um it's you can tell just like there's like not as much like random accessories like flying around whatever direction so like she she can like actually like go places and for that reason she goes in the jar i also really like come on like really really like come on That makes sense for you, Aoi over Nia. <laughs> right, 
retrofit Haman. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. This is retrofit. <coughs> MM figures. Which one? She can reach places that the other girls. <laughs> what? What does that mean? <laughs> All right, so next up is actually, all right, so I love Splatoon, right? I, I think the, the the Inkling girls are like, are like one of like the best like designed Nintendo characters ever. Like they're, they're like, they're like super like cartoony, but they're also like super whoa, you know, like they're like, <laughs> but so the, I, I think that Figma's kind of ruin figures like like i know like people like the ability to pose them but like look at this shit like i don't i don't want my figures looking like toys with like joints and shit i want them to look like you know look like they're real kinda you know as real as like people will get <laughs> yes yeah, spats mm. you never really felt that they were kind of whoa Maybe, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I, I also like the Octolings. Um, I like, I like the Octolings, uh, face, but I, I like the, um, I like the hairstyle for the Inklings. Like the, this, this like low, this like shortcut, like, uh, ba like side bangs or whatever these things are. I really like this style. But that being said, they're Figmas and... God, I, I hate how they ruin joints with figmas. Sorry, I'm like just spazzing over the screen. So these were, how much were they? They're like, figmas are expensive. Like for what they are, they're like pretty small, but they're expensive. They're like 6K. They're like 6K-ish. Um, this one was a double set. So I, I think I paid like 90 for two of them. Um, I like them. Um, I don't regret buying them, but I do wish that they weren't Figmas, so they go in the not bad. They're not exactly bad. There's nothing bad about them except for the fact I hate Figmas. <clears throat> yeah. I know some other friends that also saw a bit of Woe Appeal in the Inkling Girls. Yep. I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of H art of the Inkling Girls. <laughs> Anyway, all right. So this was one surprisingly that was allowed. Um, that surprisingly was allowed on Tier Maker. I mean, I guess, I guess, like if they're using like AI, they can't really detect. You can't really detect the, um, uh, you know, like this is. This is the um, who's this? I think her name is, um, Chitose. I want to say I might be wrong, um, but this is from the series Iapan. Like, like show me your show me like your disgusted face while you show me your. <laughs> it's like absolute degenerate territory shit. <laughs> show me your disgusted face while um, while showing me your panties. And like this is a super high quality figure, um, like super super high quality. Like the chair actually has cushion. And like this, this like stand is like, it's also like a rug kind of rug kind of feel. Um, on top of that, um, this comes with a replaceable chest part. Like you can kind of see the little, um, you know, you know, the little, uh, the important bits. Um, like there actually comes with a replacement part that's just straight up like exposed. And then the, um, one thing that I, the only flaw, I would say the only flaw of this figure is that the since these since like these are removable what's hap what happens is they kind of look they kind of look like i don't know like to me they kind of look like diapers <laughs> like because like because like you know when like like actual actual cloth like rests again the skin like way better but this one just looks like you know like a cast <laughs> like a weird cast or like <laughs> or like diapers like that's what it looks like to me and that's why like um that's like the only that's why i think it's the only flaw but like it's a very high quality figure. It was very expensive, about like 20k um, JPY. But it's um, I think it's worth I think it's worth putting in the jar and it's worth showing you guys. 
No, no, no. It is removable, Nanako. <laughs> that, that's the point. It is removable. I'm not going to show it on stream because that will definitely get me Susaned or Bezos or whatever, but it is removable. <laughs> There's another anime called I Asked to See Women's... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I believe... I believe that this is part of the same, like... Like, I thought they were part of the same series, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. P naughty. <laughs> Based. All right, uh, last one up before I switch over to hand cam is... Oh man, I didn't even get to. God damn, I'm still like nowhere close to any of the, any of the shit. Anyway, um, so last one up before I switch over to hand cam for the night, is Izuna from No Game No Life, the Skumizu version. Um, so this one, this one was like I think this one was pretty expensive. I think it was like about 170. Um. <clears throat> One thing that's nice about this one is that it doesn't like, it doesn't need like the stand. Like some of these, like they don't, they need like the stand to be displayed. Like uh, they don't stand up on their own, right? Um, but this one, this one is like well balanced enough, especially I think with the tail mostly, um, it, that it can stand up on its own. So the base, while big and very annoying, um, you can actually like just not have the base at all. And I think that makes it pretty versatile. Um, the one issue that I have with it is that it kind of looks weird. It kind of looks weird from different angles. Like, oh, this angle looks okay, but if you, like, flip it, like, so that it's, like, kind of on the, like, you're looking at it from the side. Like, the way that the eyes are shaped, I think they're, like, a little too close together. They look really weird. Um, like, I'm gonna put this, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, the, the face, uh, I'll show you guys this, I think, but... I think that it looks weird enough that I would put it in the little good category. Hey Loki, thanks for subscribing. <clears throat> Peen rave. Okay. Um give me one give me one minute. Um let me wait, let me just quickly look at this. Uh blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. I ha I know what direction in the house I need to go in. Give me give me one minute. Actually, I'll uh, I'll do this. I'll just leave this here, and I'll mute while I go and find myself the uh, find myself these figures, and then I'll turn on I'll turn on the cam. I'll be right back.
Okay, so I'm back. Um, dang, that took a little longer than I thought. Um, getting everything out <laughs> was a lot more annoying than I realized. I have so many figures and they're all like layered on top of each other. So <laughs> it was it was actually very um, it was very difficult to <clears throat> get some of these things out. But I got them out. They're sitting on my dresser, so I'm gonna be kind of walking back and forth. Um, hopefully, I've fixed my camera so that it doesn't really. Let me bring it in front. All right. What's up, guys? I All right. So, yeah, I set this up beforehand so that you can mostly see, like, the table. I think I'm going to have to kind of, like, bring the figures, like, into, into view. All right. So, first up, that's in no particular order just because I got to, like, I got to, like, uh, it was just the order that I brought them out. <laughs> Uh, what's happening? Pretend I have a sub. That's just us now. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Deliano, thanks for coming. Uncensored VTuber hands. Yeah, I mean, like, so I I am very skeptical of the fact that um, I'm very skeptical uh, skeptical about the necessity of wearing gloves while being a while doing hand cam VTuber. If one of you guys like, I, I'm not like that secretive. If one of you guys can like dox me with just my hands alone, like I'll I'll start believing it. Okay. <laughs> yes, those acrylic figures go in the jar, no question. Um, <laughs> set these up so that they're showing up on the screen because otherwise this like lip on my like monitor stand thing just kind of like oh well, kind of censor suba which is unfortunate um but you know otherwise it should be blank space here anyway um oh yeah what i used i used the logitech pro and wireless mouse i really i really like this it's um it's nice mouse shaped, no uh, no weird curves that make my hands hurt. Anyway, um, Peen's hands aren't eggplants; they feel lie too. <laughs> I've seen Ali spares, but not as Nia spares. Oh yeah, I can. Uh, they're they're not too um, they're not too hard to for me to get out. I have four Nias. <clears throat> Logitech, we need law. <laughs> I have four, yeah, four total Nias. Peen's hands, whoa! Anyway, um, so this is the first one up. This is um the eye. You can kind of tell like how big it is already. It's like, damn, this is pretty big. Like, I don't know, oh my God. Like, how am I supposed to show this? Like, it's very, very gigantic. Um, Like, overall, really nice, high quality figure. If I can get it to focus a little closer, maybe. Very high quality figure, uh, very big. Um, what's a what's a very what's a very uh, well? You guys have this for scale, right? Like, like it's it's very 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 small or very very big compared to you know like one of these acrylics. Um, so the, the reason why I don't like um, these B style like fishnets. All right, now look at this shit. Like, come on, dude. Like, like it goes all the way up. Like, they didn't like make any effort to like kind of to kind of like um you know try to like at least make it not this like disgusting ugly seam. And like the worst part is, I wonder if I can. I wonder if it's able to. The worst part is there's like actual curves along the um along like the butt here that you can't really see because of these stupid fishnets. So like that, like, oh man, I hate the, I hate the fish nuts so much. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I like, otherwise, if you like, just look at it from the front, it's like, Hmm, pretty nice. But I, I wish I was like trying to discourage you from looking at why, why that the whole point of these kind of figures is to objectify. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me get up from my desk and get the next, get the next one up. I'll just wait till after stream to put everything away. I think I'm just gonna. <laughs> All right. All right. So this this Ilya one, I uh, pretty sure might get me might get me Bezos if I show the back of it. But so this is the this is the Ilya one. 
Really like this. Um, much smaller. The uh, the flowers are removable. So she so what happens is it looks like she's just holding her hands in front of her. Otherwise, can I can I get can this focus please? Focus, focus. Yeah. So yeah, the flower you keep there to kind of like have a semblance of oh yeah this is this is an entirely <laughs> redeemed in wool thank you whoa <laughs> it's real fishnet yeah it's real fishnet I swear you saw a version of that wearing more no <laughs> oh wait you're right wait let me let me bring up the uh you're totally right <laughs> it was wearing more in the picture i it it does come with that i remember i removed it um I mean, like, just because I wanted to remove it, but here's a here's a quick sneak peek before I <laughs> before I get banned. Um, yeah, like, I definitely um, I definitely wanted to remove it, but also like it took up space, and I didn't want I didn't want to take up space with it. Yeah, I really like this. Very cute. I wish I I wish I like was buying figures when like the matching Chloe and like the um, fuck. Um, Who's the, who's the third girl? <laughs> I never remember her name because she's like my least favorite one. But <laughs> like I think they had a, a three set of them. And I, I missed the chance to get the other two. But it's okay. I don't have room anyway. Okay. <clears throat> Next up. Actually, here, let me, let me do this without, maybe without revealing too much. There we go. Um, this is Haman, Haman, Ham, Hammy, Hammy Whammy. Let me do this. So yeah, so this is this is Haman, um, the retrofit Haman. I wish like she's she's pretty big. Like um, you can kind of tell she's pretty big. Um, the like uh, what I don't understand is like these turrets are adjustable, which is nice because. Sometimes you want to get things out of the way, but these little arm flaps, they're not like these, these arm flaps aren't movable, but like this is, but like this should, it should, it would make it so much easier to like, cause like there's some things I could fit if I could just get this to fold in just a little bit, you know? Um, and then one thing that's pretty nice about the stand is that it's, it's like a camera. <laughs> so, so if you want to like, um, Haman Jojo noises, <laughs> me, you, me, you, that's her, a threesome whoa uh yeah so so it's like a camera right so if you wanted to like if you wanted to be like an extra you know <laughs> here's the camera <laughs> i think that's pretty funny yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> oh my god it's 850 i gotta keep going i gotta keep moving so this is this is chloe this is the uh this is the the carpet the carpet like stand thing it's it's kind of hard to tell with the there we go like it's it's like genuine like fuzzy mofu mofu it's like um it's like this like um what is this material like nylon or something on the back so it like slides pretty well on surfaces and then um here's the here's the actual chloe figure the face looks a little bit weird i think from certain angles can we please focus? But all in all, pretty good. And like this, this being on this, uh, this carpet thing, really nice, really nice. It's okay. I have about five minutes after the hour because her, uh, her waiting room takes, she takes, she leaves it up for like five minutes. <laughs> Oh, so this one isn't on my this one isn't among, on my jar tier, uh, but this is um, Izuna. So she's she's like relatively big. Uh, so like it looks really I think it looks really nice at the at an angle like this, but like once you once you start looking at um, I think once you start looking at it from like this kind of angle, which sometimes I wanted to do because there's like like there's so much like vertical like, you know there's so much like sp space in one dimension this way. I don't know how to, yeah, like in, in one dimension, like especially this tail, it's really annoying to like 
try to like uh, fit. So like from from this angle, it looks really weird, I think. But other than that, like other than that, it's like a pretty pretty decent. I think it's a pretty decent figure. I like this figure. Actually, Mofu Tails, yeah, right? Like, that would be so nice. It would also, like, take up way less space if I, if this was, like, a soft tail. <laughs> That's why the transparent there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the wool redeem. Whoa! <laughs> so, this one is the knockoff Chitoge figure. Um... This is this is kind of annoying. So yeah, like it's 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 definitely a knockoff just because I know I didn't pay the right price for it. But like, you know, like from from like what you can just tell, even like holding it, like it's like this this part's like this part's metal, like very sturdy base. Um I, I lied when I said it goes into the back of her shirt. It actually goes into like her jacket, if you can see. But yeah, very sturdy base, like like uh, let me see the f like the face is like completely on model too, like uh, there's there's nothing about this that would be like that make me think it was like um, a knockoff. So definitely, you know, a knockoff and or like or stolen, you know, <laughs> definitely uh, definitely worth the the paltry sum I've paid for this. I feel decent is a bit out of place when presenting skinly clad figurines. <laughs> Yep, I guess that's true. Peeing forearms in the jar tier. I don't know. Like I don't. I don't really. I don't have that like. I don't have like very muscly arms, but I don't have like. I don't have like, very, like I don't know. My hands are also kind of like small. All right. What's what's next on my. Okay, there's two, three more, three more things, and then, three more things, and then we're calling it a stream. I'm not gonna get out the stupid, like, nut cake thing, but here's the, here's the bachi, here's the bachi, uh, mochi doll. Really like this thing, um. I don't know why, I don't know why, like, I'm, I'm one of those people that, like, hate removing tags from things. So, like, if there's a tag, like, on Beanie Babies and shit, like, I'll always leave them on there. Oh, man, this is so cute. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, yeah, I, I am very, I, like, yeah, that, that's how far I have to zoom in if you want to see the, uh, my arm hairs. And, like, I have, a, I have much hairier legs, though, but... I don't really have a way to like leg cam. I also don't have much hair on my knuckles either. I'm a very, very hairless, very hairless man. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cheeky's. Cheeky's stupid standy is so big. You remove the tags from your clothes? Okay, yeah, I do that. All right. <laughs> I, I do that. <laughs> Hairless small peen. Whoa! Uh, so, yeah, this is the this is the um, Iapan figure. So, this is the, uh, like, the nice, like... It, I think it's, like, more of a felt than, like, a rug. But either way, it's, like, this, uh, this chair is super nice. Um, and... I mean, not much else to say about it. Like, I, I think, like, um... Here, hold on, let me... Let me get the somehow not blind you all. There we go. So yeah, like it, you see, like it's like a little bit bulgy, I would say. God damn it! Can it please? <laughs> it's like a little bulgy because of like the fact that it's like actually removable. But other than that, like um, other than that, very nice figure, very thick thighs. Got him. <laughs> Imagine looking at like yeah, I think the best part about this figure is the face like it's it's like looking Can I, can I do this without? Yeah This focus dude holy shit alrighty <laughs> And then last 
Next up is the Elf Villager, which I also have to move like a ton of little things around for. But it's all good. I have to be careful with this one because there's not actually anything holding holding like the uh, the chest thing in place. So one little slip up and I'll just be and I'll be definitely Susan. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is Elf Villager. Much smaller, but I mean she's supposed to be like this tiny, um, tiny little wool. One complaint I have, well really like uh, you can swap out the face too, which is really nice. I mean, I, you sh I showed you on the picture. And then the back is also like super nice. There's like a like a butt window. <laughs> one one complaint I have about this. Okay, so if you guys, can I? Okay, so you guys see there's like a sheath. There's like sheaths for the blades here and like here, right? And like they, she has blades like here and here. You can't fucking sheath the blades. They don't fit. They don't fit in there, even though, even though, like, there's actually, um, god damn it, come on. There's actually, like, slits. Like, it's actually, like, hollow in these, like, sheets. You can't actually fit the blades in there. That shit pisses me off. <laughs> Tiny elf. Whoa! Not having a high-quality face on 40 Hara art base figurine. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this one. Although, like, I, I remember I, like, <laughs> can't fit them in the slits. I remember when I, when I, like, first decided to, like, um, to, like, display this. I was like, I'm not going to display it with, like, like, fully nude. I'm not that much of a degenerate. But, like, I have some other ones that I do display fully nude. <laughs> so, come, come tune in part two of, um, figure review stream when I go through the rest of these figures. Um, the rest of the figures I have. And also, I'll show you the actual photos of like my display setup. It's a like the display setups are pretty jank, but um, hopefully, hopefully you guys get something out of that. <laughs> um, like I know it's yeah, it's it's Aoi time. Um, I'm gonna move over to the well. I don't have an end screen. Let's just uh, let's just raid, say hi, and then I'm gonna go wash out. <laughs> <laughs> if I try pushing harder, I've tried. Oh wait, is my cat want to say hi? Hey. Hey, dumbass. Get off of my Suba. All right. Nah, I'll, I'll, you'll see. You'll see what I did for those figures. <laughs> when you'll see what I did when time comes. Yeah, cutie little cat. That one sucks. Anyway. Don't have much time, so I'm just gonna raid. Who is somebody that I've talked to before? Let's go say hi to Koi. Let's go say hi to Koi. She's playing Val if anyone's actually interested, but we're gonna we're gonna go say hi to her. Ready up everybody. Otsunatsu, thanks for coming. Um we'll I'll have another hand cam stream for part two of the figure figure reviews. Wait, where's my? Whoops, not that one. Hold on. I need to I need to remember my I need to remember my keys. It's this one. It's over. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. It's over. We're starting the raid. Alrighty, Otsunatsu, bye-bye, bye-bye, to Aoi now. <laughs>